look at you. You think everything is absolutely fine. Oh, oh, did you see the new film? Do you like my new hat? Shut up! Everything is not fine. You need to open your eyes and accept reality. And nothing is more real than the occult. Welcome to a new feature I'm calling The Infinite Review Beyond the Shadows of Doubt. <laughs> Dublin, Ireland, where the locals are happy enough to keep the head down and enjoy a point now and then. But is all this drinking really just a bit o' crack? Or are these people afraid of something? Yes, the answer is yes, they are. Because they all live under the eternal gaze of the Hellfire Club. Built on Mount Pellier Hill, overlooking the city of Dublin, the Hellfire Club was erected in 1725 by Ireland's then richest man, William Connolly. Mm -hmm. This hunting lodge was built on, no joke, the site of a prehistoric passage grave. Stones were pulled up from this grave and used for construction, undoubtedly disturbing the prehistory spirits within. Prehistory, we're talking old school ghouls. So it should have come as no surprise to William when, shortly after completion, the roof was ripped off by a storm and Satan. Not deterred by Mother Nature or her lover Baphomet, Connolly had the roof rebuilt with stone, not unlike the wisest of the little pigs. This gave what was already quite a creepy building an extra eerie look, as well as sealing all the evil inside, keeping it fresh for centuries. But okay, I know you're not here to learn about the structural integrity of a lodge. You want to hear about Freemasons having satanic blood orgies. Well, you'll be glad to know that in the 1730s, ownership of the lodge was handed to Richard Parsons, 1st Earl of Rosse, and an actual, factual Freemason. And it was Parsons who first established the Hellfire Club, whose members included murderers, rapists, nihilists, all sorts of bad eggs. This is all still true, by the way. All manner of grim shite went on up there. Black masses, rough housing, and the sacrifice of a dwarf. Yeah. Someone was also put inside a whiskey barrel and burnt to death. Whenever the club members played cards, they always left one chair empty, just in case. And sure enough, one night a stranger did take that place. Unsurprisingly, these card games often had cheaters at the table, and during this game, one of the regulars dropped his hand on the floor accidentally and went down to retrieve it, when he noticed the stranger's foot was in fact a hoof. That's right, the stranger was Satan himself, Beelzebub, El Diablo, The Accuser, The Angel of Light, Savile's Kiss, Father of Lies, Blue Peter, The Serpent of Old, Lucifer, he was there that night, fact, supposedly. So what happened to this club in the end? A police raid? A quiet disassembly? No chance. The entire building went up in flames, destroying everything inside. Was this punishment or a reward? Whatever Satan's motives, the harsh stonework is all that remains intact today, as well as a load of empty cans of harp. And as if we didn't already have enough evil on our plate, a bunch of lunatics went digging for more in 2016 and found evil aplenty. A pipe shaped like claws clutching an egg, an axe head clearly used to butcher children, and some honest to god megalithic stone carvings. A few circles and lines, not very good. Right now, there are plans to boost tourism at the Hellfire Club by building a nearby cafe and to improve access using a cable car system, which is one of the last things you want to build on cursed ground. There is a prayer and a bit of holy water that you can bless yourself if you get a bit frightened. Some people would be very nervous getting into it, because when you step in it, it swings a lot. So anybody that's nervous, they have a little prayer they can say in it and bless themselves with the holy water. 
Besides, you can already pay 25 euro to be brought there by bus along with a tour guide who makes clear that this is all not funny and also there are no toilet facilities. It's no wonder the people of Dublin are living in fear, knowing a place like this is watching over them day and night. I mean, it's a far cry from Rio de Janeiro being overseen by the glory and loving embrace of our Lord and Saviour Christ the Redeemer, King of Kings, Light of the World, Prince of Peace, Albert's Path, Lamb of God, the Fifth Element, Lion of the Tribe of Judah. Right? So what rating does the Hellfire Club get? None. I'm not giving you a rating, I'm giving you a warning. Stay away from this wretched place, especially if you're just going to ruin my big impressive drone shot. Why are you even here? There's no toilets. Dopes. Wait, they've gone now, fuck you. Yeah.